Hey YouTube, and thanks for watching Junkworks Garage. We are here with another Amazon goodie, and I am in the midst of getting ready to go out and do some wiring on my trailer. And I've been wanting one of these for a while, but they were always either very questionable whether or not I wanted them, or they were a more expensive tool than I wanted to buy for the ones that were out there. Regardless, these have gotten cheaper now on Amazon. I will put a price in the screen for this tool right here that I got. And what it is, is a kit for crimping and cutting. And there's some shrink wrap stuff as well as some end pieces here that for crimping. So here it is out of the package. We got our crimper here, which you know from what i've seen on these things they do a good enough job we'll put it that way for the price you paid yet again price was in the screen set of cutters that actually look pretty heftier than i thought they looked in the picture on screen so that's kind of nice and you got your shrink wrap which is supposed to correlate to each one of these different sizes in here now the sizes that this will supposedly go from what two gauge four gauge six gauge eight gauge ten gauge twelve gauge um oh, and then that's the heat shrink tubing is five eighths one point eight three eighths one point eight and five sixteenths one point eight uh, inch. I thought the one that I actually bought went down to one aught, and I am not seeing that that is the case. So I'm going to look on here because I really do want to get into the a little bit bigger than this, and I don't think it actually does. I might have to go check this out and make sure I got the right one. So I believe the one I was supposed to get went from like one aught to, I believe like four gauge, something like that. Very well could have been my fault. Either way, I am going to send this back because it is not what I want. And I, I'm gonna definitely be, I need to be able to do, so I was planning on doing some wire like, you know, that size. I don't know exactly what gauge this is. This is some older stuff that was in some of my dad's stuff. All in all, I wish I could test this out for you, but I don't want to test something and mess it up and then send it back. That's just not how I am. But uh, all in all, it feels fairly sturdy, I would say. It just isn't quite the size as I want. I'm actually qu quite more impressed with the cutters. The cutters seem pretty good. I'll go ahead and try cutting something here because I need to cut the ends off this anyway. Yeah, that cut nicely clean cut there. So uh, anyhow, unfortunately, this wasn't exactly what I planned on. Well, I have since now sent that other one back and got this one. It's a little bit more money. I will put a price in the screen. But I think this will do more what I, what I want to do. I already have a tool that will do most of what that one did in the smaller ones. And then this one will take over from where my other tool really uh, won't work so well. Since I'm going to be doing a lot of RV stuff is what I have coming up in the future. That is why I felt I needed some of the bigger, bigger ones. Now, do I need something that big? I hope not, but I have it if I need it. There, But there's also smaller ones. So there's, I believe, what is it? One, two, 11 or 12 in here. There's a couple that are just sitting in here that I didn't even notice. I opened this up just to kind of look at it. And there's a couple of these that don't even fit in the box. They just, it's like they opened up the box, threw these in there and, and sent it on its way. And I did notice that you really got to pay attention on Amazon with these. That there's a lot of different prices, but you need to pay attention to the sizes. The sizes can change, differ from a lot of the, the different things. They do have the O-rings. 
most of the kits come with some sort of o-ring setup which is i'm assuming to rebuild this stuff up in here for the hydraulics um, you got your switch that says on and off i've heard sometimes those are backwards we'll have to see but i have everything let's start with these these are number eight this says number eight number ten so eight and ten i need to make sure each die is going to have two that come together but as you can see the one that i got i don't even know if it went down to this small so i definitely got a lot more with this kit so there's an eight a ten then we got 35 50 70 95 120 150 185 240 300 and a 25 so why i don't know but that's just how they do it in here and then we got what appears to be a 16 inside here already a lot of different sizes i believe you're like i think it had it said the equivalent of one aught two aught three aught and four aught i believe that's these i am not positive though like i said when i do this i will just find the one that seems to crimp it the right way i'll probably start out with a little bigger one if that doesn't seem crimped enough then i'll go to the next one down now something else the last one came with was these right here which were terminals this one only came with this stuff but a lot more and i went ahead and sent for these separately these were also on amazon they came with shrink wrap and a few fittings here now these fittings are all the same i believe and i got the one aught three eighths because the cable i'm messing with i believe anyways is one aught so i'm just going to yet again be doing some testing now this one also didn't come with any kind of a cutter so i have a big giant cutter i'll show you uh that i that i'll use for this i do kind of wish i would have maybe ordered one of those so you may want to do that when you're doing this and then these ones yet again i'll put a price in the screen it's the tk dmr they had the most choice of sizes that i could find on amazon a lot of the ones on amazon didn't have a big they either had a bunch of different sizes that weren't really anything i would use or they were more expensive than i was going to pay i'm just gonna go ahead and put that off of there and as you can see i got this set up in my vise i have some soft jaws here i have a separate video on those if you want to check those out but one of the secrets to this is you're going to be pushing down so a couple things i just realized i might have to move it back a little bit so i got that reset now but i want the bottom to hit kind of where the this is here so when i'm pushing down it it has the full run here and i can push right against it so now i can push on that fairly hard it is a little bit wobbly so where it is but i think we're in a pretty good spot right now we got our piece here that we're going to crimp we got three different anvils or crimp pieces here uh, i'm not sure the technical terms i would call them an anvil but regardless we got a 70 a 50 and a 35 here and just to kind of show you how i figured out what one i wanted I put the 70 there and as you can see it's too big it, it's closed up and I can still turn this inside here so that one obviously is not going to work then we got the 50 and hopefully you can see the 50 there's quite a bit of space in there it will definitely crimp but I'm not sure if it's going to crimp enough I'm going to start out with this one and see how i think it looks but i have a feeling it's not going to be quite tight enough in my opinion so then the next one they have for the next size down will be 35. that one seems a little bit small to be honest and i don't know that may but what i may end up doing is starting with this one 
or starting with the other one and then going to this one and crimping it maybe not all the way. Like I said, these are not going to completely mesh with standard measurement, so we're gonna have to play around with them. But I'm gonna start with the 50 here. You just take this and unscrew it, pull the pin out, and these pull out. It's a very, very simple way of doing things. This is a 16 that came in here. And I'm gonna put the 50 in. It doesn't appear that it matters what, what what direction or which one's top and which one's bottom. I believe they will work regardless of what direction you put them. But one thing I am gonna say is they both are stamped with the 50 on it. So I'm gonna put that, the stamping the same on both sides there. And then we're gonna put this in. Oh, and it appears this actually, the pin unscrews from either direction. I don't know why that is, but it's probably so that you can use it anywhere. So pay attention to that, that you don't want to lose this. Because I thought one side was knurled and would stay there, and one side was the nut that came off. But they're both just knurled nuts that come off of this. So get that on there. We'll tighten it up. We got plenty of space in here. So I got some T9 bow shield here. You could use WD-40, whatever you want, but I actually happen to have this by me. Although this one says air, which means it's probably not a good can, but we're gonna try and get what we can. If I turn it upside down, it seems to spray a little bit. So I'm just gonna do this so that it doesn't mar up things too much. Plus it should help the anvils last a little bit longer. Shouldn't hurt anything either. It'll get you a little bit greasy. Then there's a knob back, back here. It does turn righty tighty lefty loosey. You're gonna wanna make sure that's tight, just snug. You don't have to reef on it. So now we got this cut the way I want it. We're gonna stick this in there and test it. Yet again, that seems pretty darn good right there. I'm gonna bring it right up to the tip top there. Some people don't like doing that, but I'm going to anyways. And this is where if you were doing heat shrink, you'd probably want to put the heat shrink on first. Um, I think the heat shrink that came with this actually will go over it. But because I'm doing this for testing, I'm not going to use up the heat shrink at this point because we are just going to cut this back off of here pretty soon. So now we're at the point where I want to stick this in here and we're going to try and crimp it here. I'm just going to get it snug. To where it's staying there. Pretty happy with where it's at right now. See, I could actually just snug it up in there and then stick this in. Whichever way you want to go. But now, we're going to go ahead and crimp it. Just go till it's touching the anvils on both sides and back it off. Now obviously that was not enough. Didn't think it was going to be but I just wanted to, I'm just testing now. Trying to figure out what is going to work for me. So we know these ones are too big. Like that. T9 bow shield is all over my fingers now in the machine, so I'm just going to put some of it in there rather than spray any more on. A little bit of that stuff goes a long way. So we got the 35 anvils in here. I'm going to, oh, need to tighten it. Oh, too far. Now here's one thing, if you do like what I just did, you wanna make sure you get it at least really close to the same area that you're crimping. Back 
back that off. Hopefully you can see that. It did crimp it pretty good. It does have little wings on both sides, but they're e fairly even. This one's maybe not quite as even, but if that bugs you, then there you go. But also, if I would have done like what I said, and maybe not pushed it all the way together, I just wanted to give it the best chance it had to crimping. So maybe instead of going all the way down, leave it a little bit of a gap, and you probably wouldn't get that. I do believe that it's that these are just slightly smaller than the one aught cramp here, so that's probably the reason why that happened. So it just has it squeezes it actually more than it's planning on, so any of the excess ends up squeezing out the side. But we're gonna go ahead and cut this down now and see what it looks like in the name of YouTube science, but there won't be much science involved. We're just gonna cut it and see how well or not well it actually crimped it. I've actually taken and tried to pull it off of here. And although it looks like it's coming out, it's not. That's just the actual sleeve of this that's actually pulling out of the sleeve here. So it's not this coming off. And I've tried pulling pretty darn hard and twisting it and it, it's not coming apart. So I'm not worried about this failing or not functioning correctly. I'm pretty sure we're pretty good, but we'll go ahead, like I said, and cut this down with my saw here, and we'll find out for sure. In the end, I think that worked perfectly fine. If I have any problems down the road, you will definitely be seeing this in the future, both in videos, and if I have problems down the road, and if it starts leaking and I need to replace those seals i'm assuming they wouldn't probably send those seals if they weren't planning on it probably leaking at some point so there you go as far as the one aught i definitely would say that the 35 number 35 anvil things here are the way to go but like i said in the future i will probably back it off a little bit and not crimp it all the way down uh, so I don't end up with these little ears here, but it doesn't really do anything. If anything, it's just crimping it a little tighter and I don't really care. I mean, really you could take and grind those off with a little file or something like that and it wouldn't affect anything anyway. So if you really don't like those there, you could do that. But I'm happy with it. I'm way happier than I was with the first one. And this is the Asani uh, hydraulic crimping tool. It's the YQK-300. Um, it is a 12.5 millimeter stroke. I'm reading off the thing here now. The crimping force is 6 kilos, what? 160 kN. I don't know what that is. I think it said it was like 12 ton, maybe 16 ton. I honestly can't remember. They were, I was looking at both of them. Look at this Asani one in the YQK 300, dash 300 actually, hydraulic crimping tool. And you will probably find this somewhere on Amazon. And I almost forgot, but I was going to go ahead and take a grinder to one of these and see if they were copper all the way through like they said they were. It's definitely copper all the way through. I'm not hitting anything and I definitely ground it more than I would ever grind it down or accidentally grind it to. And I like the fact that they're stamped in here what they are and the size they are. Uh, I'm pretty impressed for the price uh for what you get of these because these things are really expensive if you go to your local stores hardware stores and stuff and get them if you go and check out my rv upgrades then uh, you'll be able to see these in action at some point i have a bunch of the black ones as well so it comes with enough to do them all but yet again i ruined that one so i have an extra one but i don't want to waste these heat shrink is heat shrink if you don't like these ones go buy some other ones that you like and these are still a really really good deal heat shrink or not there you go now you know now get out there and get your junk working thanks for watching junk work garage where i'm proud to say i'm a jack of all and obviously master none you all have a good one